New York City banks seem to be above the law. It's because they are. They are international banks because New York City has been taken over by the United Nations. New York City is the fourth sovereign city-state next to the Vatican City, the City of London, and the City of Washington, District of Columbia. New York City banks operate in international United Nations jurisdiction. They comply with U.S. banking codes, but are not subject to U.S. codes due to the international nature of New York City. The United States only has the power to fine international banks despite clear and obvious banking crimes and fraud. The United Nations protects its city banks. Fines are flipped by banks from liabilities to assets and the debt money to pay the fines are created from thin air. Fines have no effect on the banks. The banks wait three days to cash checks for it to become dishonored for the banks can refinance the checks with new debt money created from thin air. Each check is literally new debt money for the banks. The New York Federal Reserve is also international in nature and explains its broader banking powers. New York City banks appear to allow infinite rehypothecation as well, which is to say the reserve ratio is zero, where the banks create debt money without any reserves whatsoever. Did you know that birth certificates are banknotes that are publicly traded on Wall Street? Check out California Vital Records calls birth certificates banknotes. Birth certificate banknotes end up at New York City's Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation at 55 Water Street. More details here. Like, subscribe, and notify.